Picture yourself walking on a bridge that twists through the mountains, rising as high as a 30-story building with a suspended road that appears to hang in midair. This massive Chinese bridge is an impressive feat of engineering, linking communities and helping the local economy grow. Stretching 4.75 kilometers, it has pillars that reach 107 meters high. This is what China puts thousands of tons of concrete into. The result? Let's find out. The southwestern region. Guizhou often rains, mountains cover most of the land, and poverty has been a long-standing challenge. However, 92.5% of its area consists of mountains and hills, so the province has worked hard to improve its roads. Guizhou has built over 200,000 kilometers of highways, including over 8,000 kilometers of expressways. As the only province in China without flatland, Guizhou has set world records by building over 30,000 bridges across its karst mountains. The province is now home to 49 of the 100 tallest bridges in the world and is known as the Museum of World Bridges because of its large number, different types, and advanced construction techniques. Located in the mountainous southwest of China, Guizhou has a population of more than 38 million. It covers just over 68,000 square miles, about a quarter of Texas, with a GDP of $258 billion. It remains one of China's poorest and least populated regions. Many people still live in rural villages with little industrial development. Even so, Guizhou now has five of the 10 tallest bridges in the world and 40 of the top 100. The province is rich in natural resources like coal, timber, and various metals, making it a place with strong potential for economic growth. It has also become an important location for data centers because of its open land and the possibility of using renewable energy. However, to make the most of these opportunities, Guizhou first had to connect itself to the rest of China. Its network of bridges and highways is making that possible. Building a modern transportation system in Guizhou was a huge challenge because much of the province is separated by deep canyons and river valleys. Engineers had to construct dozens of bridges over gaps in rivers nearly 2,000 feet below to create proper road connections. To put that into perspective, the tallest bridge in the United States, the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge over the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada stands at just 890 feet. Guizhou, by comparison, has 17 taller bridges. The amount of high bridge construction in China is just insane, said Eric Sikowski, an American. China's opening, say, 50 high bridges a year and the whole world combined might be opening 10. This leads to an important question, how? How did Guizhou become the world's center for mega bridge construction? Guizhou has many types of bridges, including suspension bridges, cable stayed bridges, steel arch bridges, and concrete beam bridges with massive piers. These tall bridges have long spans with some suspended sections stretching over 2,500 feet. Even the sections leading to the main part of the bridge rise high above the valleys forming towering columns that stand over the land. These bridges are just as breathtaking as the mountains and valleys they cross. Guizhou's rapid bridge construction began in 2001 with the building of what was then the world's highest railway bridge. After that, roadway bridges were built, starting with the Guanxing Highway Bridge over the Baipan River. When it opened, it was the tallest bridge in the world at 1,273 feet, though it now ranks as the 11th highest. The Guanxing Bridge was the first suspension bridge taller than the Royal Gorge Bridge in Colorado. The Lucehe Bridge and the Gunyo Bridge are the tallest steel arch bridges in the world and are the only ones that stand more than 400 meters high. The Duge Bridge over the Baipan River will remain the world's highest bridge for a few more years, standing at 1,854 feet above the valley below. However, a new bridge in Guizhou, the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge, will take that title with a height of more than 2,050 feet. The bridge's piers were finished in November. Once the project is completed, it will provide a new route, allowing drivers to cross the canyon in less than a minute instead of the hour it used to take. Chinese engineers and workers have refined the process of building these enormous bridges, with some completed in less than three years. Precast elements, orthotropic deck pieces, and steel truss running plates allow quick deck assembly and attachment to the suspender cables. Many of these bridges look very similar which means that even with the difficult terrain and great heights, standardization helps make construction more efficient. 
Long and tall approach spans are built to reduce earthwork, often several hundred feet above the ground. These spans are just as fascinating from an engineering perspective as the Chinese have found a way to transport massive concrete beams and deck pieces by truck and carefully place them hundreds of feet in the air. Kindly subscribe and click the like button because this bridge will blow your mind. Have you done that? Good. Let's talk about the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge. Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge. The Chinese province of Guizhou is famous for having the world's largest number of high bridges. Still, even in this mountainous region, the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge stands apart. It is part of the Liuji to Anlong Expressway, a project that began in 2021. The biggest challenge along this route was crossing the river known for its towering bridges, the Bai Panjang. The Bai Pan, or North Winding River, is the only river in the world to have held the record for the highest bridge, not once or twice, but three times. The first record came in 2003 when the Bai Panjang Wanxing Bridge became the first suspension bridge to rise above 1,000 feet. Then in 2016, the Bai Panjang Duge Bridge set a new record by surpassing 500 meters in height using an innovative truss traveler for its cable stayed span. Nearly a decade later, the deepest part of the Bay Pan River has been crossed by the longest high-level bridge in history, breaking the 2,000-foot height barrier for the first time. Since the deck of the Huajiang Bridge needed to be at an elevation of at least 1,100 meters, engineers had no option but to span the 625-meter deep canyon with an enormous suspension bridge. They chose a stiffened steel truss design with a main span of 1,420 meters, 10 meters longer than the Humber Bridge in the United Kingdom, which held the record as the longest suspension bridge for 17 years. The steep northern slope of the Wajung Canyon required the construction of a concrete tower of 262 meters, while the South Tower stands at a more typical 205 meters. The bridge stretches 2,890 meters with over two dozen approach spans measuring 40 meters each. While steel truss suspension bridges are common, the designers of the Huajiang Bridge wanted to create an ageless appearance. This is most evident in the tower connections, which feature a layered design reminiscent of the Art Deco era, bringing to mind the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. The bridge's location is remote, with only a small road winding through the untouched canyon giving the area a striking natural beauty. With such a massive and unique project, leaders in Zhenfeng County decided to transform the bridge into a major tourist attraction, something never before seen on a suspension bridge. These additional attractions increased the weight and wind resistance of the original design, requiring the planned 7.5 meter deep truss to be extended to eight meters. One of the new features will be a glass elevator that takes visitors to the top of the South Tower where they can enjoy the stargazing bar and cafe, positioned directly between the two main cable saddles more than 600 feet above the roadway. Another attraction will begin just below the bridge deck, where the elevator will drop visitors inside the truss, leading them through an 800-meter-long walkway with glass floors. These floors will create the illusion of floating 224 to 404 meters above the ground. The final thrill awaits at the last platform, where the truss walkway reaches its highest point, 2,020 feet above the Bipan River. The world's highest bungee jump will allow visitors to leap into the vast canyon below. For those who prefer to stay on solid ground, this platform will also feature glass panels for walking and another cafe where guests can view Guizhou's deepest river canyon. A large visitor center designed in the style of Zaha Hadid will showcase the development of the suspension bridge and the ancient history of the canyon and its people. Private bungalows overlooking the bridge will allow visitors to stay overnight. At the same time, a road trip to the canyon floor will take them to an old chain bridge built in 1898, offering a glimpse into 125 years of Chinese bridge building history. Guizhou's ambition for high bridges first became clear in 2001 when the Luguanghe Beam Bridge opened, setting a world record for the highest bridge on a two-lane expressway between Guiyang and Bijie. In the 25 years since, expressway construction has expanded rapidly, with four-lane and six-lane highways now connecting even the most isolated cities despite the region's mountainous terrain. An old saying about Guizhou claims there are no three days without rain, no three acres without a mountain, and no three coins in any pocket. 
It might be time to add that there are no three kilometers of expressway without a high bridge. Once finished, the bridge will reduce the canyon's crossing time from around 70 minutes to a minute. The provincial government announced that sightseeing and recreational programs centered around the bridge are also being planned. Gijo, surrounded by mountains and deep valleys, is home to nearly half of the world's 100 tallest bridges. The Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge in Gijo Province reached an important stage in its construction on Friday the 17th of January 2025. The final steel truss segment was lifted into place, weighing 215 metric tons. This step completes the main structure and provides a strong foundation for the bridge's planned opening in the second half of 2025. Once finished, the bridge is expected to surpass the Beipanjing Bridge as the tallest in the world and will also set a global record for the longest span of any mountain bridge. Due to Guizhou's steep and uneven landscape, the province has built many bridges to improve its road network. Chen Jianlei, deputy director of the Guizhou Transport Department said, the completion of the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge will strengthen economic ties between Guiyang, Anshun, and Xianxinan, helping the regional economy grow. The project's chief engineer, Li Zhao, shared his excitement. Watching my work turn into reality, seeing the bridge take shape every day and finally stand tall above the canyon fills me with a great sense of accomplishment and pride. The steel truss, which serves as the main support for the bridge, comprises 93 segments with a total weight of around 22,000 tons, the same as three Eiffel Towers. However, the deep canyon and unpredictable weather created challenges during construction. The team used an advanced cable crane system developed in China to manage these difficulties. This system, equipped with the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, allows for precise lifting with the push of a button. When the coordinates are entered, the system moves the crane to the exact location on its own, making work easier for operators. The team used real-time tracking of raw materials and virtual simulations to check how different components would fit together. Liang Junyan, a project manager from the Southwest Division of China Railway Baoji Bridge Group, said they relied on 3D scanning technology to detect possible issues before assembling the parts on site. During the installation process, they followed a set sequence ensuring that every bolt lined up exactly where it should be. With 80% of the main construction completed, the next stage will focus on installing the panel sections between the trusses after the Chinese New Year. The Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge is expected to be completed in 2025 for 1.8 billion yuan, around 270 million US dollars. This amount covers the major engineering work, advanced materials, and the difficulties of building a bridge in such a remote and rough area. Several factors can explain the large cost of building the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge. First, the location played a big role. Guizhou province is famous for its mountains and deep valleys, making construction difficult. The engineering team had to design a bridge that would be safe, strong, and able to handle natural disasters like earthquakes and heavy rain. The large size of the project required many skilled workers in addition to the materials and technology. Labor costs were another part of the total expense. The Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge was also built with tourism in mind. It's not just a way to get from one side of the canyon to the other, but also an attraction of its own. The area around the bridge is known for its deep valleys and breathtaking views, and it has become a popular spot for visitors. The local government added features like viewing platforms, walkways, and lights to make the bridge a place for people to enjoy the canyon. Before the bridge was built, locals had to use zip lines to cross the canyon. These simple zip lines were an important way for people in the remote areas of Gijo to travel. The difficult geography of the region made building modern roads very hard. Without bridges, people used the zip lines to carry goods, travel across the canyon, or visit other villages. The zip lines were made from steel cables stretched across the canyon. People would sit in a harness attached to the cable and use their momentum or a small pulley to get across. In many ways, the zip lines were a lifeline for the locals, allowing them to continue daily activities like trading or getting medical help when roads were blocked. These zip lines were a part of the area's history and show the resourcefulness of the people who lived there. However, they were also dangerous. The speed and open cables made crossing risky, especially when the weather was bad. With the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge in place, the zip lines are no longer needed to cross the canyon. The bridge offers a safer and more reliable way to travel.
However, the history of the zip lines is still an important part of the heritage, showing how the people once depended on them. The completion of the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge has changed the region in many ways. It has made transportation easier for locals and opened up new tourism and economic development opportunities. The bridge has become a major attraction, drawing people from all over the world to see its design and the stunning views of the canyon. Tourism has increased, and new businesses like hotels and restaurants have been built to accommodate the growing number of visitors. Beyond tourism, the bridge has helped the economy by making it easier to reach markets, schools, and hospitals. Before the bridge, Guizhou's remote location made it hard for people to access basic services. The bridge has made traveling easier for people in rural areas, bringing new growth opportunities. During the May Day holiday of 2023, the area saw 100,000 tourists. According to Yang from the administrative office, it now receives about 3,000 visits daily, with the intention of reaching 3 million visits yearly. Another popular spot in the tourism area is the Guanling Fossil National Geopark. This park is known for its large collection of fossils, including those of marine reptiles, marine invertebrates, and ancient plants that are 220 million years old. These fossils are valuable for researchers studying the late Triassic period. The deputy director of the Guizhou Transport Department told China Daily that completing the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge will improve economic connections between Guiyang, Anshun, and Shenshenan helping to bring the region closer together economically. Alimak, a company based in Stockholm that provided equipment for the project, explained that the location posed major challenges. Being in a plateau region makes the temperature differences between day and night more extreme, which increases the chances of severe weather changes and strong valley winds all year round. Many believe that China is already living in 2050, and their new Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge will be completed this year, proving that China is not slowing down in tech and engineering. Do you admire the wonders of China? What are your thoughts about these? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe to our channel for more innovations that will leave you in awe. You can also watch the other videos on your screen before you go.